All right, guys, how's it going? Now, I thought I'd do a little comparison video for you guys, showing you the 10 inch MS and the Alpine Type S in the same box, in the same car, for the same amp. So you can see which one sounds better, or get my opinion on which one sounds better. Um, the uh, Type S has obviously got more OMS power, but the uh, MS is built better and it's also not been broken before. The, M uh, the Type S are fixed up at the skin. Yes, yeah, so just watch these clips of it playing the same songs and I'll tell you what I think. I'm going to chop and change these in the same box. See which one sounds louder. Now this is really sounding good. Uh, yeah. yeah. On one single 10 inch of fusion. Now the boot, the box doesn't actually fit in my boot, so cool. This is moving like crazy, you know. It's really strong. This room's so clean for the 10 inch MS. Cool. Look at that excursion. This is on uh, 4 ohms, so this is probably only kicking out about, I don't know, 200 watts RMS? Which is okay, because this sub is about 200 watts RMS. It's a home audio sub, um, so it's not got the power that the car audio subs have, but it certainly has got the punch. This is, this is really, really impressive for a single 10. This is the Steve Me test that he plays in a couple of his newer vids. Bit of window flex up here. Money man, Gorilla Zo. Quality bass test in tune. Now, seeing as I'm not driving anywhere, I can afford to be messy with this. Right, let's go. What you need? Hit it with a bass. Now there, it's not quite as strong as my four eights, but I think that's only because that's on four ohms, and it's I can't, you know, no matter how high I turn the gain knob, it's probably not kicking out as much as the uh, MS can handle. Gonna try the hood's run down check. The little lows check. You ain't banging. Let's go see how this does. 10 inch MS, 200 watts. Yeah, it's not bad, it can't hit that low one though. Oh crap! Damn! Gotta play this every video now. Another Steve Mead tune. Oh, yeah, that's right. Last one from the 10 inch MS. I want to see if it can move the window on this tune like my ex can. 
This thing has really got some movement and it's clean movement as well. It's not a dirty excursion, it's really clean. You wouldn't even know it was going to X Max. That's really clean. Okay, let's chop and change it up. Let's get the uh, MS out of that box and put the Type S in. I'll be, I'll be more um, willing to drive the uh, Type S to its limits because uh, fixed it once, fix it again. The MS, uh, I don't want to touch it because it's such a clean subwoofer to start with. It's so perfectly balanced and everything, it's brilliant. But um, yeah, I'll be driving this one to the limit. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay, so even after all that excursion, it's not feeling that warm. So how will it compare to the uh, Type S? Magnet looks wider, yeah. Um, actually, the magnet's bigger overall. Type S is all hooked up and in. MS is sitting there by the screwdriver. Let's turn it on and see how it compares. Try right, be legit, stick them first. Not bad. I've got a feeling it's not quite as deep as the MS though. It's, the base is there, the, the air movement's there, but the base isn't quite as deep. Come listen to this, the excursion is pretty nasty sounding as well, not clean like the MS. It's got the excursion, but it's pretty dirty sounding compared to mechanical sounds. Oh damn, bottoming out there. <laughs> Nice. Bottoming out, bottoming out, bottoming out, woo! But yeah, okay, it's not bad on the stick'em. Let's try something a bit higher with the SMD with the silicon tester. Again, slightly dirty sounding. Not as much as the MS. Oh, listen to that. Mechanical sounds for the win. Okay, let's try another tune. Just for comparison, you know. By that video, the 10 inch MS is sounding a lot deeper, sounding a lot stronger, and it's not got the mechanical sounds that Type S has got. Um, I don't know whether that's because I fixed it up at the skip or whether it's just because it's bad. I'll have a look at it, I'll take it apart, and have another look. Um, but yeah, the uh, MS definitely sounds punchier, deeper, makes my window shake more, um, even though it's got like 100 or 150 watts less power um, on the coil. That's all for now. Uh, catch me next time. Bear vids, you know where it's at.